Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're talking waffles. Those perfect Belgian waffles. Crisp on the outside and fluffy in the middle. And I know everyone has their favorite recipe, but I've got a little secret in mind, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. First step, preheat your waffle iron to medium high heat. Let it get nice and hot. Today I'm using the Breville No Mess Waffle Maker. First I'm gonna separate my eggs and add the yolks to one bowl and the whites to the bowl of my stand mixer. Now I'm gonna set these egg yolks aside and I'm gonna beat the egg whites until stiff white peaks form. Okay, that looks just about right. Now we're gonna set these two aside and get started on our waffles. Next, I'm gonna to sift together my flour, sugar, and baking powder. I've switched to the paddle attachment. I'm gonna add my eggs, my egg yolks, and I'm gonna lightly beat them. Now, in go the milk, butter, and vanilla. Now it's time to mix in the dry ingredients. I'm only gonna do this until just combined. We don't wanna over mix this part. Next, I'm bringing back those egg whites. And this is my secret ingredient. I'm gonna gently fold in my egg whites. And I say gentle because we want to maintain those air bubbles. Okay, now we're gonna take the batter and we're gonna go back to that preheated waffle iron. So Breville actually sent me this waffle iron um, because I needed a new one. And I'm so grateful that they did because this waffle iron is really, really cool. It has a moat around the outside that actually catches any excess so you don't end up with waffle batter all over your counter. So, I'm gonna take a ladle. I usually like to put about one cup of the batter into the waffle iron. I feel like that's enough for this size. So if you remember, we put those whipped egg whites into the waffle batter. And that's gonna ensure that the waffles are fluffy on the inside. And then the grates of the waffle iron are going to melt the sugar and make the perfect shell to house the fluffy center of these waffles. These waffles are perfect all on their own, which is some simple maple syrup. But if you want to add a, another fun and interesting dimension or flavor profile to these waffles, you could also add some whipped cream. This is how I like to eat them. And some berries. It doesn't get any better than this. Fluffy Belgian waffles. My perfect brunch food. These waffles are also really, really delicious in an ice cream sandwich. So what I do is cut them into fours and I fill them with your favorite ice cream flavor and they are a perfect dessert. Kids love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just gonna go finish this waffle right now and I'll see you again soon. I almost forgot, freeze any leftover waffles, if there is any leftover waffles, in a resealable plastic bag, um, a freezer bag, put them in your freezer, and when you're ready to eat them, just pop them in your toaster oven and defrost them, and you'll get a nice crispy outside like they were just made that day.